Well, the minority in parliament says it will oppose any attempt to constitute a com joint committee to probe election-related violence filed by four majority MPs. The motion by the majority MPs, according to their minority colleagues, is simply a reaction to their motion to investigate circumstances leading to the violence during the 2020 polls. The majority MPs on their part want their probe to cover all such election-related violence since the inception of the Fourth Republic. Member of Parliament for Nshaya, so Stephen Amwa, argues the investigation will enable the country to establish a blueprint for dealing with the problem. Fighter violence started CPP Martin Hotel. time. Then it actually went off. There was anything, there wasn't anything like that in our society till BNBC and DC came. Talansi, Benabe, Etiwa, Asukwa, Asunaponov, in the brown half. You heard all those stories. People were butted like, 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 is it fresh meat? And I have some here, they are all here. One young pastor was killed, and they, they are all here just recently. So, what we are saying is that whether it happened under NDC or MP, it is unacceptable. So, if we are making a call, let's expand it so that we know the root call, call sorry, and make sure that we find an eternal solution or everlasting solution to it. Wouldn't that be more of um, chasing the wind because as we speak, uh, those who may have perpetrated the 93, 96, 2000 election may have died. Of course, it's a recent election. Exactly. So what we are and saying it is that proper and prudent that you investigate listen, the matter. Any honest, God-fearing person who is a Ghanaian mm. and one solution and not being political or partial will call for all regimes that we can have access to data with respect to violence and find out the root cause, the remote cause, or the immediate cause. Are you seeking to stampede this investigation by the NDC? I'm making it more efficient. My member of parliament for Ningo Pram Pram, Sam George, disagrees. He believes this is an attempt by the majority to stampede the attempt to expose individuals behind the 2020 electoral violence. They can take this back to even say, go give it next time. We don't care. What we are interested in is the killing and murder of seven Ghanaian citizens by members of the Ghana Armed Forces and Security Services during the conduct of the 7th, 8th and 9th of December 2020. That is what we are interested in. I would be shocked if the speaker would want to consolidate the motions. There are two independent motions. So we can have two different committees. That's what I'm saying that, look, this is an attempt to filibuster. Look, the, the parliamentary practice of filibustering, this is a filibustering attempt by the majority to just filibuster the process and make it look like, make, make it a stupid case. <laughs> Sorry. We will give them their 1993 investigation. And I'm saying that we can even send it back to 1957 or say, begs time for them. But that is independent and completely different from the motion that was filed by Haru Naigrisu, Muntaka Mobara, uh, Okujoto Ablapa, and Suhini on the issues of 7th, 8th, and 9th of December 2020. That will stand alone as an investigation on its own. Anybody who wants, and we will oppose any attempts by anybody in the House to make it a joint investigation. Member of Parliament for Boku Central, Mama Yarga, argues the matters of the 2020 general elections are great. So those are the issues. I mean, in uh, is it, uh, Techiman South. South. Why? Why? Why would all those young people die just because of a seat? How important is the seat? How important is the election result of that place that people should die? Absolutely unnecessary. The soldiers should know that. They should know that when a situation like that arises, it is better to withdraw and not in any way interfere in the election than to interfere in it in a way that lives are lost.